full house. We're going to have a, a good time tonight. And uh, I was born in Chicago. I was raised in Missouri. And when someone from there says, how y'all doing? Their proper response is, all right! <laughs> so how y'all doing? All right! You are quick learners, aren't you? <laughs> That's good. Well, Jess, do you want to tell the story or should I? We just had one of these really weird experiences. Can I tell it, please, please, can I get it? He's not there, so I can tell him. Jess just phoned home. You see, we're up. Uh, we have a... Uh, have I got cheese on yet? It's all right, it's coming. Ah, there we go. Yes, uh, Jez and I are on the same record label, actually. And uh, he phoned home and he sold a, a tape the other night from a new batch that he... I just happened to have got a new batch, too. We're not succeeding here for some reason. And someone phoned in and said, I just bought this tape and it's got you on one side and Marilyn Middleton Pollock on the other. I said, save that. <laughs> Great advertisement for tonight, isn't it? We got this okay now? Yep. Yes, I do. When had us on Greeks, muddy waters run down, as the many are gay to the harbor downtown. Not be exposed 
to uh, all kinds of nasty, horrible things like cigar smoke and booze and spitting on floors and foul language. And for 35 years, until radio came along, uh, it rained. Uh, I don't mean it rained, I mean it was, it was the king. <laughs> Anyway, I got interested in vaudeville because of a song I picked up in the States called Wild Women Don't Worry, Wild Women Don't Get the Blues. Now, from this one song that was written by a lady named Ida Cox, I got interested in the vaudeville blues singers first. Ida was one of the, the biggest vaudeville blues singers that ever was, and this song was written in 1927 when she was in Chicago. And this is what started my interest in it, and from that, I end up, years later, doing radio series all about vaudeville and jazz and blues. Now, it's got a little chorus. Everybody in a good singing mood tonight? <laughs> Some of you look like the Supreme Court out there. I've been, I've been doing a, a lot of jazz the last years. I've got my own jazz band called Chicago Hoods, and I noticed I don't know if any of you go to folk clubs or jazz clubs, but um, that's where I make my living on both of those, mostly in theaters. And folk clubs, you know, they always get there late. Yeah. Now, I know you all must be jazzers, because you were lined up around the block when I got here. You know, because jazzers always get there about half an hour ahead of time, before the doors open even. But folkies, they get there late, and then they, they go and they, they sit way at the back first. Jazzers always sit right up in front. You must be folkies that got here late because you got the last seats up in front. <laughs> Folky won't sit in front, they're in spitting distance, you see, jazzers don't care. And, uh, you know, jazzers are lots and lots of energy. Not that folkies don't, but I figure folkies have got their priorities right. They get there late, they, uh, they get their pints first, they sit at the back and they fold their arms and they say, there, depress me. <laughs> We'll get to some rougher ones later on, so take notes. It's your turn. Are you ready? She's gonna make me sing a little. obnoxious and when you're singing the blues you have to ooze into the song you can never sing anything on on the beat when you're singing the blues right because it just doesn't work like that so it's your turn remember loud obnoxious and ooze there we go oh wow 